how long do you think it'll take you to make it? How long do I think it'll take me to make it? Oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chido and this is Chido Starts Up. If this is your first time joining us, thank you so much for popping through. Please make sure to click the subscribe button and the notifications button. And if you're joining us again, thanks for coming back. Today we're doing a get to know me video because I actually realized that I never did one of these. But this is a get to know me entrepreneur edition. So let's get right into it. I have a few questions here, some from people I know and just a couple from the internet and I just thought that would be really good to explore some of the things that I think about entrepreneurship and I guess what drives my passion for entrepreneurship and starting and running businesses. So the first question is, what is your name? <laughs> my name is Chido Dzinochiwe, it's just Chido. My parents didn't um, give me the longer version of my name but my mom always says that if she had I would have been Chido Chemoyo which means the heart's desire so my name is just Chido which means um, a desire question number two what do you do so I do a lot of things and I actually realize that whenever I need to answer this question it's better to ask answer it in the context of you know whoever is asking it so since this is where chido starts up i'm going to say that i'm an entrepreneur i am someone who loves starting businesses who loves looking out for opportunities learning more about those and i'm also a youtuber budding youtuber so i'm so excited about this youtube journey alongside my entrepreneurship journey um which economy is your favorite and why <laughs> so i think my favorite economy I don't think I actually have a favorite economy. I don't have a favorite economy. I know the Zimbabwean and the South African economies quite well, but I don't think I have a favorite. I mean, the South African one is great because things work and I guess you can actually see um, like the fruit of your labor clearer than you can see it in Zimbabwe. But the Zimbabwean economy is just full of opportunities. There is just so much happening there and so much yet to happen. So I enjoy just the fact that it's still like fertile land. Yeah, I really like that about the Zimbabwean economy. So I don't think I have a favorite economy. Yeah, no, I I don't. But but I think I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for whenever someone asks me the question again. Um, the next question is, who is your role model? Huh, so my role models are my parents. Um, of course, I'd never be who I am or where I am without them. And those two are just really amazing and their teamwork is just I think um, yeah they, they one can't be my role model without the other they both just become one great role model and I think the reason they're my role models is just because of their faith levels they couple hard work striving for excellence with faith and the things that have come out of that combination are insane so those are my role models uh, the next question is what made you start a business so uh, what made me start a business <laughs> that is a really good question I don't know I guess I guess I just grew up around people who are always starting businesses my parents are entrepreneurs um, more so my dad and I guess I don't know it just it just felt natural it just felt like I got to a stage in my life where I felt like I need to kind of do something and that was like the first thing that came to mind but um, yeah, I think I think what made me start a business was just probably curiosity. <laughs> curiosity, <laughs> curiosity made me start a business, and I think um, I just wanted to see and test myself and kind of stretch myself and actually see whether what I have in my mind can actually come out and become reality, and whether I have the ability to do that. So yeah, I think that's what made me start a business. Um, number six, how did you get your business idea? Oh, so uh, my business ideas come from so many different places, but they all come from experiences or something I've done before. So there was actually a time in my life when I challenged myself that every single place I went to, I'd need to think of a business idea that would suit that place, a business idea that wasn't currently in that space. And 
I mean, most of my ideas that came up were probably happening already or they weren't as unique or as lucrative. But that exercise really helped me to start stretching my mind and thinking out of the box. So a lot of the times, um, I mean, okay, not a lot of the times, but with my business ideas that I'm currently running with, um, those came out of lived experiences. They came out of me actually doing something and seeing something and being like, hey, this something here there is something here and that's where it came from so i think that's the best place to get your business ideas because then they become personal to you it's not to say they're personal that you get attached to them because you know that can be problematic to get attached to your ideas but they become personal in the sense that you know exactly what you want to execute to make sure that they're successful so that helps like if you ever have people who want to like steal your ideas or do the exact same thing, you can always have that comfort that your idea literally came from within and you know exactly how you want to run with it. So even if someone may be doing the same thing, they'll never do it the way you'll do it. Yeah, because you know that problem intimately. Um, okay, cool. So what's the next question? So I lost my space. Okay, the next question, What what's your favorite social media uh, channel for business? So... I, I, I use social media a lot for my businesses and over the past few years that I've been running them I've actually learned a lot. So I think for South Africa Instagram works well. Okay, let me not say for the business that I'm running, Instagram works really well. Uh, I think because people are on Instagram a lot and Instagram really, um, what's this word? Instagram perpetuates like lifestyle. It shows you what you can have or what others are having and also what's possible for you so with instagram it becomes really um it becomes easier for you to integrate your business in that so that if someone says oh people are wearing or people are buying you know these grass bags and if you're someone who's manufacturing them you can have your page with those cinder grass bags showing the type of lifestyle of people who are wearing them and have like a quick button that takes people to your website and they can buy um, so yeah, I think I think for South Africa so far Instagram I think Instagram is my favorite. Then for Zim, Facebook and WhatsApp, Facebook and WhatsApp, business moves on Facebook and WhatsApp. And I think the primary reason behind that is because they WhatsApp and Facebook uh, bundles for people to easily access Facebook and WhatsApp. So people are constantly there and people really engage on those two platforms. Um, Twitter is coming up as well, but Twitter also has its um, own market demographic. So if you're targeting that type of market demographic, Twitter will be the place for you. But otherwise, Facebook and WhatsApp for Zoom. And then the next question is, would you work with family? Yes, I would work with family. Um, I don't... I think as long as you're good at what you do, as long as you respect the vision that we're trying to reach and, and, and accomplish, um, as long as you as long as you just do what you have to do really, I'd work with you. Um, I think sometimes working with family does become a bit problematic if you don't have the conversations necessary to have, but otherwise I would work with family. Um, yeah. The next question, who gives you the best business advice? The best business advice uh, comes from three sets of people. First, my parents, they give me the best business advice. Then my mentor, he is just on it. Like he knows, you know, these things. And then the third group of people are my peers, other founders. They give really good uh, business advice because they're either going through what I'm going through or they have just managed to um, overcome it and it's so good to speak to people who you can speak to like on the same level as you or even just a bit higher or even higher up you know it doesn't really matter where they are but it's just your peers people who are in the same journey as you they're still fighting they're still hustling they're still trying to make sure that their business succeeds and gets out there so yeah those people give you the best advice um what's your biggest failure oh I think my biggest failure is a business I started in varsity called uh, DM Gold. Um, I actually make a YouTube video all about that experience. Um, I think that, that was my biggest failure. I mean, I'm sure I have others, but I, the one that comes to mind is that one because I really think that if we had, if we had continued with it, it would have become something quite interesting. Um, I think it would have obviously, obviously morphed I think it would have morphed into something else, but um, I really believed in that idea. And yeah, it's, yeah, that, that business is, is not running anymore. 
um how long do you think it'll take you to make it how long do i think it'll take me to make it oh i don't know i honestly don't know and i don't really think about that um in my mind i've mentally prepared myself to just keep hustling no matter how long it takes i know people who have had to hustle for 20 years before they got their break others two years others you know in between i just i don't know and i think you know it's obviously just I, I i don't know but i i really believe in the work that i do and i'm more than willing to keep working at it until until we get our breakthrough so yeah i don't know uh the 12th question what keeps you going when things are tough i think what keeps me going is just my passion my sister actually said the other day um she was like you know you don't have a passion for like selling or providing services or anything you actually just have a passion for entrepreneurship and business and i think like when she said that it just it was just so true i really just have a passion for business for entrepreneurship for solving problems for um yeah building teams and creating employment i have a passion for that and that's what keeps me going because i know and i've seen the impact that entrepreneurship has in africa in our communities and i just want to be part of that so yeah and then the last question why did you start your youtube channel so i started my youtube channel because um i just wanted to share my journey as an entrepreneur i actually started an ig tv channel and i shared like a lot about my journey then i actually tried to link some of the videos to this video but i then decided to move on to youtube because i felt that i would be able to um i think take it more seriously because my ig tv i just started feeling like oh it's just like short videos you know who's watching anyway but even with youtube even if nobody watches i'm enjoying this process of you know having like a video diary of my journey of the things i'm learning sharing with people uh, meeting new people and and i think it's a good hobby i don't think i've had a hobby for a while and um i'm really enjoying this process of content creation so i started a youtube channel basically to share my journey and it has become a hobby that i'm really enjoying and yeah i mean we'll see how it goes where it goes but we're here to stay so thank you so much for tuning in to my get to know me entrepreneurs edition video i hope you enjoyed it please leave any comments or additional questions in the comment section below uh if there are a lot of questions i can always create a part two and answer those but i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to the starts up i'll see you next time